Let's continue with our decision tree algorithm problem. In this video, we will do the Gini index calculation for the third feature that is student. So let's get started. If you look at the data set, there are a total of seven instances while the student is yes and total instances of seven for when the student was no, when the candidate was not a student. Out of these seven values of yes that are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, six times the individual has bought the computer. The class of the bias computer is yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have written these values in the form of the table. Let's do the mathematical calculation now. Well, Gini value, while the student is equal to yes, the total instances while the student was yes are seven, and out of these seven, six times, the person has bias computer yes class. Square it down, while out of these seven instances of yes, only one time, the class of the bias computer is no. Well, the value uh, the, as the result of this mathematical calculation is 0.246. Now, let's calculate the Gini value while the student was no. So, the total instances when the student was no are nine, and out of these sorry seven values and out of these seven values three times the bias computer class is yes while four times the bias computer class and after doing the math we'll get 0.489 now we want to calculate the gene index of this student feature so we will have to sum both these values we will have to get the weighted sum in fact right so the gene index while the for the student feature of this data set are 0.246 plus 0.489 and uh, since we are going to calculate the weighted sum well seven instances of the student yes out of 14 this is the weight of this uh, while the student was yes similarly 7 out of 14 is the weight of the student no value and after getting the after having the mathematics well the final value is 0.367 right 0 0.367 <clears throat> so this is the Gini value the Gini index value of the feature student now we have only last <clears throat> feature remaining that is the credit we will do the same for it so let's bring in the table of the credit rating well if you look at the data set again let me re-explain it well the credit rating Gini index value has to be calculated now and it has total of uh, eight fair values one two three four five six seven eight and six excellent values and out of these eight fair values we have six times yes class right one, two three four five six seven eight and out of these eight fair values we have six times sorry it's not included this excellent one six times we have yes class of the bias computer and two times no class so we have summarized these values in this in the form of this table so let's calculate the gene index value while the credit rating is equal to fair 1 minus well total of 
eight values of the fare well the credit rating well, when the credit rating was fair and six out of these eight values we have six uh, times the bias computer yes class and two times no class well after doing the mathematical calculation we will get 0.375 similarly while the credit rating is equal to excellent 1 minus 3 out of 6 whole square plus 3 out of 6 whole square well that would be equal to 0 0.5 now we want to have the weighted sum of both these values to get the Gini value of the entire feature that is credit rating that would be equal to well 8 times we have the value of fair and the total values are 14 add by 14 is the weight of this fair 0.375 plus 6 by 14 is the weight of the excellent and the Gini value individually calculated is equal to 0 0.5 so 0.428 is the value of the, the Gini value of the credit rating so uh, let's have the comparison of the Gini index values now so if you look at the Gini index value of uh, all these four features or parameters of the data set well start from the last one the credit rating feature our parameter has 0.428 value 0.428 the student income and age parameters student income age let's write down the gene index values of uh, student that is 0 0.367 the income value we calculated in the last video was 0.44 and the edge value is 0 0.342 so if you compare all these values we conclude that the edge 0 0.342 value is the minimum of all these gene indexes so the since the edge index value is the minimum of all these values this feature has to be the root of the decision tree so in the next video we will build the decision tree having the root edge and we will further boil down to the to the uh, remaining shortened data set and we will calculate the gene indexes further so that we can have the final decision tree of our data set so see you in the next video